What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NBA 2K16 Portland Trailblazers my league and today is game number 5 of the Western Conference quarterfinals and it looks like we already have a winner for our potential matchup. If we win the series we will be taking on the Los Angeles Clippers and that's a tough matchup but of course this one's a tough matchup too because we're taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder and it's game 5 here in OKC. It's going to be really, really tough. Yes, we split both home and road games so far but we're gonna get this one on and possibly try and come out with the win today that would be pretty nice to take that 3-2 series lead because this is a very pivotal game five we have a shooting lineup to start off today's game we have mike miller in the starting lineup guys that's how often are you gonna see mike miller in the starting lineup in any video game the only reason i did that is because i know he can shoot the ball and you know he can perform big time uh, that's why I kind of started him in today's lineup, and uh, I, I know it seems kind of different for you guys to see something like that, but I feel like it had to be done. Uh, I'm not a, a fan of Al Farouk Aminu trying to take over the game, uh, anything like that. I need my scores to be out there, guys who can shoot the ball, guys who can put points up on the board, and defend pretty well as well. I know Aminu is not that bad of a defender, but I mean, Mike Miller's not that bad either. So you see right here, Mike Miller going up with the shot, and he's making shots early and often in this game. I like the way he shoots the ball. It just feels perfect. You know, Mike Miller seems perfect so far for me to shoot the ball. See, CJ McCollum's going to be doing his thing, but you see Mike Miller in the corner making that three-pointer. Mike Miller off to a hot start. He's off to a perfect start so far. I like what I've seen from Mil Mike Miller, the killer. It's Miller time here in Portland. And, uh, man, if we can get him going, man, it's going to be pretty hard to stop the Portland Trailblazers. You see right out here, kick out Gerald Henderson. Wide open triple, and he nails it down. And it's now 21 to 13 as Thunder are have their backs up against the wall here a little bit early on, but now they're catching up a little bit. You see they're inside, kicking it back out. Kevin Durant back over to Anthony Morrow, back over to uh, Payne, back over to Durant. I think Durant should have shot that three first, but I feel like they're just wasting time now just to – you know, to get the last shot of the quarter. You see Kevin Durant going inside, getting that nice little layup to go. It's now 26 to 23 to near the end of the first quarter. We have a three-point lead, doing pretty well for ourselves. Just cannot, you know, blow a big lead. You know, it's something that we kind of have done already a couple times in this series. But you see right there, we do miss a shot on a good opportunity to take the lead or extend our lead a little bit. But the Oklahoma City Thunder with Russell Westbrook take the lead themselves. It's now 33 to 32. And you kind of expected this kind of thing to happen. It's been back and forth the entire series. It's been anybody's series to pretty much take. You see, we're trying to do a pick and roll. Back over Mike Miller. Three-pointer. Nope. Nope. But Ed Davis is right there to pick it back up and slam it back home. So now, it's now 37-35. As you know, I feel like with this team, we have a lot to improve on. But there's, a, there's still a few things here that I actually like about this team. So... You know, Damian Lillard's pretty good. Ed Davis is pretty good on the glass. You know, Mike Miller can shoot threes. I, I hope he stays for next year because he's going to be a good sixth man coming off the bench and everything else. Because, you know, in 2K, it's a little bit more different than the actual logic. Uh, I know Mike Miller is not getting a whole lot of minutes to begin with, but he mean, in 2K, he still performs like a good sixth man. But you see Kevin Durant going off, shooting threes, doing his thing. Near halftime now, and now we're past halftime to start the third quarter. And they're getting another easy layup right there to extend their lead to eight points right now. And this is something that we cannot let happen. They, we cannot let them go on big runs because then that's pretty much that's what ended us last game. That's why we lost by 15 points last game because we couldn't stop them from going on runs. And you see Mike Miller again with a guy in his face hits the triple. And it's 54-51. Wow. Get ourselves back in the game here real quick. And wow, that's crazy. You see another open shot there from the Thunder, and uh, we're going to call a timeout because we cannot let them get open shots like that, and, you know, we got to play better defense. Hon honestly, we cannot, why are we leaving the two best, di well, one of the best dynamic duos in the game right now, if not the best dynamic duo in the game, open for wide open jump shots. You see CJ McCollum pulling up for three. You're going to leave him alone for that much space. I mean, you, you got to pull the trigger. He's going to pull the trigger. And, you know, he could shoot the ball lights out. He's C.J. McCollum. He's really good in this game. So, uh, in this game of basketball, you know, he is a really good scorer. I feel like he's a good second option for next season. 
And uh, Mason Plumlee is going to come into his own. I feel like the one true position that we need is possibly power forward and small forward. Like a, we need forwards. Ed Davis is good, but I feel like if we add a little bit more depth in the forward position, we will be solid for next season. So now it's 86-79. Here's Westbrook open for three, and he hits the triple, making it a 10-point lead for the Thunder. But we are not giving up just yet because we are the Portland Trailblazers, and we do not quit. As you see, we get the block down the court we go. I almost said the field. But you see C.J. McCollum pulling up, and he gets that one to go, making it a two-point game with two point or 2.42 to go in the game. 95-97, and we get to go to the free throw line because Ibaka's like, ah, um, no, I'm not going to let you get that easy layup. So here comes Damian Lillard with two free throws. First one's up and swish, and it's now 97-96. Time of the essence right now. Is right now, if we miss this, we'll, this will be key if we miss it, but now it's still two minutes to go in the game. Um, I like our chances, especially since it's a tie game, but later on, Still 97 all with under a minute to go. Here we go. This is crunch time. Here's Kevin Durant giving it off. Russell Westbrook wide open three. And Russell Westbrook ties the, or gives the Thunder a three-point lead. And now the backs are up against the wall here for the Blazers as we, we, we need something. A quick score, a three-pointer, whatever we need. So right here, Ed Davis going inside, trying to get a quick basket. And then we missed the chance. Oh, but we get the offensive rebound. Here's Mike Miller trying to get something, somebody open. Not going to find it that easily. Here's Gerald Henderson. Pulls up for a three. No good. Offensive rebound again, Ed Davis. Can we get something? We need a three now. Obviously, with time, this, with this little time left, we need to get something. Damian Lillard, no good. And that is pretty much going to wrap this one up. Kevin Durant hits both of his free throws. And the final score of this one was 102 to 97. We had three good looks. Well, not two semi good looks and one really good one inside the paint, but we could not convert. And it ends up being a five point loss, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I feel like if we would have made at least that two pointer, it would have helped us at least later on in the, in the with time remaining. I don't know. We'll see how it happens in game six. Right now, our backs are up against the wall. Going back to Portland for uh, game six, and hopefully we can force the game seven. But, man, the Thunder are a tough team to stop. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, easily the best dynamic duo in the game. Um, you know, Russell Westbrook's contending for possibly MB a possible MVP award right now. And, you know, Kevin Durant in 2K won the MVP, so he's got a lot going for him right now. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And hopefully we'll be ready for game six. Thank you guys so much again. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Until then. Peace. Damn. It's been a minute, y'all. Yeah. It's been a minute. Yeah. I don't got shit in my hands. Check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a dream, shit would be conclusive. It was elusive. Yeah. I was running through the streets, I was maneuvering. For everybody, they had an attitude with the shit I speak, but it's cool. <laughs> I don't need your fucking opinions on these. It's the rap spitter, the young Mac Miller. Uh -huh. Rap spitting better than your grandma. Uh -huh. But as for show though, I rock that polo on my hat like a motherfucking white kid. Cause I am, my skin is so. Yeah, it doesn't. It's pretty irrelevant. It's not. That's real shit. Coming through, I'm pretty to celibate. Not really though. <laughs> Come on, son. You know I gotta get it though. You making me laugh and shit. Now I'm trying to be serial. I mean serious. I'm trying to go and eat some cereal. Have a bunch of honey bunch hey. of crunch and try to get it, yo. You ever had honey bunches of crunch with the past of nah. Great Britain? I mean the Prime Minister. I'm pretty sinister. Fuck. With my sisters beating down my door, trying to get in the bathroom in the morning, and I'm like, right. yo, can you just chill? I'm yawning. I feel you, Mike. I hate these fucking cats. It's always flaws.